I recorded most of this video a long time ago, and it didn't record properly, so I have to do it again. Oh, I'm so. Villains will start running away from us. But what if the villains have six packs? Why do you assume only the good guys have six packs? I like how his shirt says gym owner. Moon may start staying awake, may start getting electric shocks from her. Well, that's not very. The narrator is a person. Yeah, like normally narrators are like this weird entity who just sort of talks, but now he's like a character in the show. I'm some is such a great character. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. He's stuck. There was something in his teeth. Oh, I have to pause it and check. I think that was just his tongue. You're the one with almost the land. I mean, one half is just like only a few islands, like Hawaii, and the other has all the. Running? Some might try very hard, but no melt can't run in space. It'll be very uh -huh. bumpy. New I don't remember any of this. Aliens may never visit planet Earth again. Wait a minute, are you saying they have before? What if we were made of dust? The Umsum guys oh, no. think aliens just have been to Earth. Earth. People may start using a lot of shampoo, and so well, their sale would be What did that just destroy out. you? Hmm. Secondly, people may start running away from vacuum cleaners. But why? Let me like, I get if you're if full of dust, us, but if you're made of dust. Vacuum cleaners. What if our ears became very, very big? Cool. Then I'm saying we'll look like this. Oh, Baker. Awesome. Wives may now start wearing a huge amount of ear jewelry. <laughs> and the man has to pay for it. The wife gets the ear in, and the man has to pay for it. Cut out for them. What if Earth bought an AC? Planets may start buying new things. Now everyone has an AC huge cool anymore. The Earth was Earth. made out of electricity. Roots. Is that a planet? Unsum already has roots. Oh, Ew. Awesome. Alright everybody, stand in a straight line. We need to attack the sun from all the sides. Seven, I am going to check if every four, planet six. is present. Dude, I'm a satellite. What about me? Oh, Lou, even I am just a dwarf planet. Now just stop your cribbing. Let's start the attendance. <laughs> aye, aye. The smallest but the Can coolest you say what does magnificent mean? What does magnificent mean? This is I I don't know what I said. I think he said I think he just said magnificent, and I thought he said. Yeah, really. They're way bigger. You can't do anything about them. The sun called her the teeny weeny. Earth got angry. Picked up a fight, and the result is this. How dare the sun? 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 What happened? Sun thinks that I am a teeny weeny. Really? You are. Oh, it's way bigger than you. Big. That, you wish. That, oh, no, that's still no, nothing that's compared to the sun. He is right. Oh, come on, Mars. Dude, a day on Jupiter is just ten hours long. You will have to say goodbye to those long, sleepy nights, which you so thoroughly enjoy. Yikes! Didn't I tell you? Also, Jupiter does not have a solid surface. All the skyscrapers that you are so proud of will now sink in and get completely destroyed. Oh, my! Yeah, it doesn't seem very worth it to me. Wait. Instead of getting in restrooms, we may start peeing on trees. We might start making dog faces in order to get more of our favorite food. Do dog cases? He said dog faces. Hey, you know, they dogs. say dogs and cats. Did you ever... Instead of running behind money, one has pet dogs and... Bones. I don't get it, man, because most people I know have dogs and cats, and they get along fine. Thirdly, if everyone had a limousine, don't fly so first class, class you won't be able to go back to coach. Maybe they'll just start using limousines instead of limousines. You carry a limousine. They're so heavy. If we had hair like a chimpanzee, they will not remain that popular anymore. You're not cool anymore. They are, and they start behaving like a chimpanzee. Well, why would they do that? Just because you have hair doesn't make you behave that way. What if, did he say? What if everyone was a scientist? Eva, Wally. If everyone becomes a scientist, sports will probably take a back seat. Libraries will definitely get overcrowded. <laughs> What if crocodiles rule the world? Oh. oh no, I thought I was the ruler of the world. Huh? <laughs> oh, eat a lot of small fish for lunch. If crocodiles rule the world, all small fishes might leave for a different planet. But they always say that! <laughs> Things so bad, just go to a different planet. Alright everybody, stand in a straight line. We need to attack the sun from all the sides. I am going to check if every planet is present. Dude, I'm a satellite. What about me? Oh Lou, even I am just a dwarf planet. Now just stop your cribbing. Let's start the attendance. Aye aye, the smallest but the coolest Mercury is here. The hottest fireball Venus is present. The magnificent Earth is present. 
The red hot Mars is Magnificent! The greatest giant Jupiter is The Magnificent is not magnificent. Present. The windiest planet Neptune is present. Wait a minute, where is Uranus? Oh, let us all hear her out. Hello, everybody. I hope Little that all of you girl. are doing well. The idea is to basically attack the sun from all the sides and that too at the same time. It doesn't really have sides. It's like... Oh, gosh. Earth, Sun, Mars, and Moon, all all equal. It's not like what happened here? a room that well, normally has four short, walls. The sun knocked me and Saturn out while both of us took care of Mars and the moon. This is precisely the reason why the sun wins all the time. <laughs> he divides and conquers. What, what do you, you mean by right. took care you of? Right. You mean just like kill us? Why do both of you keep on repeating everything? It is so irritating. We don't care. We don't care. We will absolutely make you care. Really? Really? Oh no. Yeah, really? Picked up a fight, and the result is this. How it's dare small. the sun? How dare the sun? How dare the oh, sun? Oh, this Saturn is like a... Oh, this will be fun. You guys! That's... That's so one's Jupiter, upset. right? What happened? Really? I think that's Mars. Oh, yeah, because Jupiter is obviously... Jupiter there. Yeah, that the one's place. definitely Jupiter. You will have to say goodbye to those long, sleepy nights, which you so thoroughly enjoy. All the Earth days used so to only be a few hours long. Oh, my. But that was back when the Earth was new. It was billions of years ago. People addicted to mobiles will definitely leave for a different planet. I guess people would have to use board games. Bullet cars. Huh? bullet cars? People will definitely miss their air conditioners. Oh, yeah, that'd be terrible. Wait, so would propane count as technology? Because people have to use, like, electricity to, like, get may have to barbecues to work. I thought you only use camels in the desert, because normally you just use horses. You may have to get used to waiting in those long queues. Hughes? Mm. Need to cues. I just started. Uh oh. Oh, I, I thought he was just gonna use scissors. He looks like Patrick Star. Secondly, if our bodies become triangular, aliens might get confused. They might think we're actually the pyramids. They they didn't say anything about aliens building the pyramids. Math teachers might get overjoyed. Why would the math teacher want to be a triangle so much? If Earth swallowed Jupiter, Jupiter may start punching Earth from inside. Earth may have no idea what to do. Remember that Animaniacs episode where Rita eats Pinky and Pinky's still alive? Fifthly, Jupiter has a gigantic storm twice the size of Earth. If Earth swallowed Jupiter, now Earth may have to deal with the gigantic storm. The red dot! Lastly, if Earth swallowed Jupiter, Earth may now try to swallow the sun. The sun may toss it out of the solar system. Oh, jeez. Well, cool. let's just throw logic out the window. He can eat Jupiter, he can eat the sun, because it makes no sense. Cartoon logic is weird. What if Earth broke in half? It's like a whip. Well, you know, it would depend on, like, how it's broken in half. Like, what if, like... Half the world gets the Pacific Ocean and the other half gets all the land or some people may live on one side and work on the other. These people might get super exhausted. They have to take a plane everywhere. I am so very upset. What happened? Sun thinks that I am a teeny weeny. Really? Moon, I am going to show the sun who I am. I am going to become as big as Jupiter and He knows your Earth! Assuming right. the sun oh, is a boy on, because boys are Dude, bigger. What if all clouds come down? Wow! Now I can see. Wouldn't that just be now. fog? Oh, Submarines? No, oh, no, down. lighthouses. That's what lighthouses are for, Perfect. so if boats can see down. in the fog, and, and they don't bump into the shore. You know, I don't even think that would actually hurt the world too much. I mean, it's not like if the moon disappeared, then all of the world's water would just would just not be right. I, I don't remember what it is, but it's like. Secondly, if we it, it, the gravity would be all messed up. Well, then, how many clouds? I don't think they would change much. Well, the... And everyone would burn up and die. Oh. I hear there's one planet in, like, a completely different solar system that's nothing but water. Earth may not be able to bear the overpopulation burden anymore. It may start sinking. Sinking? Secondly, Where's it supposed to fall to? Support. That's not how gravity works. Oh. No. When has the moon ever done any favors? Well, you know, the there used to be a fifth... No, actually. Yeah, well, there was a fifth planet in between... The fifth planet in the in, inner side of the solar system, so like inside the asteroid belt. It was about the size of Mars. And then it, it called, uh, hit Earth, and then what's left of it became the moon. So the moon kind of... Just so the moon did crash into Earth once. What if everyone lived in deserts? 
Scorpions and snakes may visit us regularly. The Australians would know what to People do. People start buying air conditioners like crazy. We may have to do dust cleaning all day long. I like that woman in pink. The storms may blow up our house every now and then. She's moderately attractive. <laughs> Ice cream lovers would be one. Well, that dude just had the same shirt. Water may get more expensive than gold. I, I don't think that would ever happen. There's so much our pets may leave for water in the planet. world, but not much gold. Maybe if they found gold on some other planet. Aliens may never come back to planet Earth. Wait a minute, are they implying that they already have been? So first it's with the aliens building the pyramids, then the aliens... I am a scientist. Offices will not be boring anymore. No, they said offices. Huh. I, I thought, like, why are aliens always green? I thought, like, are most living things green? Because that's what most plants are? Most the, the living things on Earth are plants? At least the multicellular ones? Lastly, if everyone becomes a scientist, sports will probably take a back seat. Libraries will definitely get overcrowded. They, they just assume the scientists are wimpy nerds who can't play sports. Secondly, if we lived on Pluto, a day on Pluto is 153 hours long. We may have no energy left at the end of the day. That's... Thirdly, if we lived on Pluto... Oh, wait, the, the, the days can be short because how far away the Earth is... I mean, the planet, I guess in this case, Pluto is from the sun wouldn't determine how long the day is. That's how fast the planet spins. There's a channel called uh, Kirkajur, or some German word that means in a nutshell. And they made a video about how, um, how in a billion years people could make the Venus just like Earth, and it could be like a second Earth, but it would take a billion years, which is so long you might as well not even bother. I mean, I'm sure by then humans will have either go extinct or just colonize a different planet entirely. That'd be cool. He has a turtleneck. Wait, did they say there would be no water? If clouds are your best friends, how come you didn't make a big fuss when you said there were no there might be in this hypothetical scenario there be no clouds? My best friends disappeared, I'd be pretty upset. Well then again, maybe he said it like they were always gone, so then he wouldn't even know what clouds are. 